What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Mr. Rat here with another part of the Vampire gameplay. So last time we finished just near the hospital, our next task is to enter the said hospital and check out our new place of work. And seems like we have a kind of a brawl there. Oh, someone got stabbed to death. Alright, he dumped his victim into the river, but he's hurt himself. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. <laughs> okay. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spill it out onto the street and you're jabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality indicates... Okay, we've seen that already. So he has 500 XP if we feed off of him. But probably we don't... We don't probably have to do that. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. You mesmerize level, your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press Q to mesmerize clay. All right, let's try it. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Okay, so we need to go somewhere quiet, out of sight. The red trail. Which one is the red trail? Everything's red, basically, at this point. Oh, okay, it's moving. There we go. Blood Temptation, plus left to embrace Clay Cox or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's embrace him. Should I... oh, now I can. What does he mean? It's like his spirit talking? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, we've got uh, some uh, nice axe, I think. Can equip it. What's the damage on this one? 72 versus 45 on the machete, so we can use this. It's 65, 99 on the scythe. Yeah, so for one hand that this will be a nice choice, I think. And can we... Yeah, we can, we can finally maybe uh, do a pistol as well. If we, I don't think if we have... Uh, no, I can't equip it. Main weapon. Offhand. How about now? Yeah, there we go. Now it works. Actually... Okay, so now we can cycle through. Yeah, okay, that works now. So now we have uh, 
club at our left hand and oh, okay we can cycle with z our main weapon and we can cycle with c if we want the stake or the gun okay so that's finally uh, resolved uh, let's keep the stake and we'll see when the gun comes to use okay it's time to enter the hospital now we've got the spring <clears throat> let's see if there's anything else to to grab around here tiny common handle part Aluminum powder. I think we already uh, found that earlier. Some shillings. Okay, let's see if we can enter the hospital from the other side when we um, exited the the boat. Right here. Oh, okay. So the professor already. Already went inside, I think. So is this the hospital? Let's check out the map. Yes, it is. Some wounded people, apparently. Oh, okay, nurse is calling us. I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Let's see if we can I would like to get any information. Maybe something else about the doctor? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Yeah, kind of clever. Touche. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. That's it. All right. Guess she's not uh, the most talkative person around here. Goodbye then. Let's check out our new office then. Second floor, she said, and we already have a name on our door. Like they are moving quickly. We've just we've been outside for like a few minutes. They already prepared a label and everything. Like it. Like it very much. Okay, where's the main door? Here it is. I've oh, got some kind of poster here. And... It's a soldier? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, cool. So we've got someone to trade with. Let's see. Let's like see how this see works. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. 
So, we can buy, we can sell. What we can buy? Milton's shotgun, 296 damage. Bullets, shotgun shells, common handle part, we already have that. Common trigger part, tiny common handle part, aluminum powder, aluminum shard, grease and screw. Now what... or was it ours? No, this is Milton and this is... Oh, okay, so we need to select. There it is. So, how much can we get for those parts? This is 77727. Seven, seven, seven. Alright, not too much. Although I don't think I want to sell anything. As these will probably serve as uh, ingredients at, uh, at some point. So, not to buy them uh, at later stage. We'll just keep them. But the bullets, actually, I might find useful. We have 113 shillings. And these are one per piece so we want to buy multiple and uh, how many can we why only two I'm pressing E but it's only one or two okay let's confirm to oh, okay so the, he only had two fine and 12 shotgun shells yeah let's let's buy those as well let's take let's take all no, that wasn't all. Multiple. 12, 15. Okay, everything. Yep, we got it. Okay, cool. So we've got our first uh, merchant around here, uh, the ambulance driver. Right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Very tidy at the same time, somehow. Well, not so tidy over here, but generally quite a good impression for a hospital. Okay, I've got some other doctor here. Good evening, doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are... I am Thoreau Strickland, uh, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Hmm, nice to be a star from the ground up. Personal questions... let's see. Hint, 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 okay, nothing we can ask. Your life in London? Tell me about yourself. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. He's a bit too forward, isn't he? It's like... It's a bit too much, man. <laughs> I understand you admire me, but... Keep... Keep it down. I'll give you some advice, but understand that nothing beats practical experience, which can be exhausting and solitary work. Of course, sir. And don't worry, I will never allow myself to be a burden, uh, neither to you nor this hospital. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. Okay, cool. So we've got... Uh, we've got a hint about this guy. Um, blood quality... Two and a half thousand, that's quite a lot, but he's a doctor, so we're not gonna <laughs> drain him just yet. We'll see in the future, but for now we can keep him breathing. Uh, Thoros experiments in blood transfusion have not been successful yet. Okay, so that's uh, that's our hint. Alrighty. Nothing else about Pembroke? Can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. With your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. 
I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Cool. We even picked up a quest. Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Press tab to open the local investigations menu. Let's check it out. Local investigations. So you can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with left mouse, then access to your map to locate the area to explore. All right. So this is the guy. Wait. Missing ingredients. Okay, so we are already tracking this one. Reach the pharmacy. So we already have the pharmacy on our map, don't we? Wait, 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 no. Okay, we've got a merchant here. Missing ingredients. Okay, so it's here. Cool. We already have it marked. Then we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll be passing by. Medical checkup E. What does do this do? My medical attention, dear colleague. You don't have to worry about me, Doctor Reed. I am here to assist you, not to be a burden. Cool. Okay, so I think we. Oh, now we have. About your blood transfusion technique. Oh, okay, so this first dialogue options that uh, where he's, he said that uh, his methods are unsuccessful now unlocked uh, another dialogue option. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Okay, let's hear it. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. All right, so we've got a hint about Harvey Fiddick. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior, a man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. Hmm. A very noble approach. So we need more hints about this guy. And we explored everything in this area, so goodbye, for now it's a goodbye. And let's keep on exploring this new fancy hospital. Another doctor. This is the same nurse, Nurse Crane. What can I do for you, Doctor? Dorothy Crane, yes. Um. Thank you, Nurse. Okay, so these are all the same options that we had before. But I can see that we can take something from here. Glass vial times four. Alright, let's first check our, our new office and then we'll talk with the with the people around here some more 
Just need to uh, remember where was the entrance. Okay, so this is the reception, and we have the stairs here. We can go up. Try to find our office. Uh, second floor, she said, so this is first. This is second, but this is locked. Maybe from the other side. No. How do I get to my office? This is the second floor. Hmm. That's weird that both doors are locked here. Shall we go around the first floor? Maybe they made a mistake. Dr. Swansea is here. This is locked. What about that? Oh, look at this. Used hacksaw. Is it more damage than uh, than my other stuff? Sixty-five. Okay, so this is the same. Is there like a different type of damage it does? It's all classified as melee weapon, so probably not. This is attack speed 10 and 20 stamina and attack speed 15. Okay, so it's at least faster than than the club. So we can exchange this into into this. Okay, cool. This is locked and this is open. This must oh. be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Dr. Reed. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Perfect. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Just why did they say second floor since it's first floor? That I don't understand, but we found it nevertheless. 25 shillings, aluminum powder. Uh, too bad we don't have any recipes yet uh, to create some stuff. Uh, what's this? Dr. Swansea's message. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. Oh, how convenient. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand that you must now be facing, uh, be facing and feeling what you must now be facing and feeling. Uh, be assured, I'll do whatever I, I can to help you in this ordeal, and now that, that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times were, we are all we are all presently facing. I hope your future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I have discovered about Ekon in... Scroll? Can't scroll it. in the last few years, feel free to read about it if you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Uh, who was Akon? I really don't remember. Alright, let's see what else they prepared for us. Article on Akons. Okay, so this is 
another word for a vampire. Supernatural, speed, mesmerism. So this is pretty much about me, blood awareness. Yep, these are the qualities of the vampire. Okay, I guess it's uh, probably time to rest some more. What's this? The flower's dying. It needs water. Needs water. Let's get some water. Can we like? I have I have the glass vials. I remember. I should be able to fill them with water to 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 water the plant. But apparently, I can't do it. Okay. So, we have another batch of XP which we can use to select some more skills. Uh, 1110. What do we have here? Uh, blood Barrier. Duration 5 seconds. You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their veins. Wow, making them defenseless. That's cool. Tactical, this is still locked. Ultimate as well, we've got those bites. Uh, science is locked and blood. Blood capacity, increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. So we can get more, uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. We can get more blood from, from every bite at combat. Plus 20%, plus 40%. This will be probably useful throughout uh, entire game, so better get it early. Shall we get another level? Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe let's let's go back and try something. Shadow mess. Place a cloud of shadows. Okay, I already checked that. Blood barrier. This sounds uh, interesting. Yeah, like let's let's check this out. Can get. Oh, that's just enough for first level. Cool. All right. Confirm. There we go, we just need to probably assign uh, some button to that. Uh, what happened here? Okay, so this is the one that we killed. Not sure what, what this is. Ninety-two percent. Health sta status of what? Of the district, probably? Well, probably. Yes, this is the Pembroke Hospital and the, the state of district is healthy. Uh, okay, so we have quest. Uh, analyze William Bishop's blood at the workbench. Alright, let's check out the workbench. Blood sample of William Bishop. Okay, analyze. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health po points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Um. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. Okay, so probably I should have done it before. <laughs> now I have to rest again until the next night. Okay, let's do it quickly. I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Night shift. Answer the door. All right, that's easy.
Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Uh, I have no idea if it's in my room. I'm not sure if that's what she means, but... Sorry, there's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem. We had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? By chance. This is the Pembroke. And space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. On our way then, to the morgue. Let's do it. So behind the hospital, narrow street, so we need to... We need to exit and go around. Or can we pass somewhere from here? Probably not. Oh, I also forgot about the uh, ability. So we have it under four now. We have the healing, the spear and shield under four. Okay, cool. We have space for one more and there is also space for an ultimate under five. Let's see the posters. Influenza, keep out of this area by order of board of health. Health officer. One more here. What's this? Contagious disease, one shall enter or leave quarantine area without written hmm? of the local health authority. Kansas ripped a bit. There we go. Voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Oh nice, six bullets. And shotgun shells at the same time. Very nice. There's something here. This is just the... Oh, there we go. Can I shoot him? Yes, I can. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's one's. Need to change my weapon to something faster. And feed on him. Cool, that was fast. I got to jump there for a second, but managed to fight them off. Do we have any more? Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, whoa. Easy there, easy. Shit, that one's crazy. Should be enough for him. Alright. I like this combination of those skills. They're very nice to use. Okay, what do we have here? Watery, sturdy blood sample. Okay, something to analyze, probably. Photography of an... Ah, oh, sorry, in a wallet. A photography of smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Milton. Milton is the... <clears throat> Milton is the... Ambulance driver, isn't he? Cool. New investigation. Very nice. Let's stick. Oh, okay, so this is... the back of the hospital, so we could have gone through. We went uh, pretty much around. Okay, let's check out this morgue first, and then we'll go back to Milton to show him the photograph. To probably trigger some quests. Oh, actually, it is, it's already triggered. We can just... Uh... Where's Milton? That's the guy. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Bring back the wallet to its owner. All right, we'll get on that in a bit. First, let's check out the morgue. Glass file. Oh, we have some new quests here on the right night shift. Find useful med. Oh, okay, so this would we'll probably need to find all that stuff here. So that's that's not really new. That's that's been there for a while now. Just noticed it. But I guess we'll have some lovely creatures to fight off while we're searching for the stuff. Okay, seems like we have something around here. I think the markers are showing. Oh, maybe maybe it's upstairs somewhere or downstairs. It's a morgue. I would imagine it goes uh, it goes underground. Can we use our senses to to locate something? I'm not sure there. No, nothing's showing up. I, I think it's only for blood. Oh, there's something. No, that's just money. Always useful, but... Won't complete the quest that way. Okay, so this goes downstairs, it's but it's locked. So we'll probably have to find a key upstairs somewhere. Oh, I've got another one there. Try to shoot him once. Oh! <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, he was stunned. Okay, so the all the objects that I need to find are marked with the special symbol. Mars, 
popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Cigarette case. Oh, another one. This is locked. This is unaccessible. Let's see here. This key will surely grant me. All right, space. like I said, we now can enter the the lower levels of the morgue, where we'll probably probably find the rest of the. Oh, there you are. Oh, bastard. Oh, to the ground like this. Enough is enough, All right? Okay, another corpse here. Oh, got some bullets. Lots and lots of blood. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Okay, so oh, we've got another level up. We have to explore it. This is locked. Uh, it's just one corpse here. Nothing else. Okay, time to go down then. Oh! That one scared me. It disappeared like that. These scales feed from corpses and the husks of blood. They're not after blood. I saw one more somewhere around. He escaped. I think this was the same one that uh, on the upper level. That the the one that startled me a bit. We'll get him. We'll get him soon enough. How about we use the shotgun instead of the instead of the pistol? This will be interesting. Crap. They have time to change it. Oh! There we go. First death. <laughs> okay, need to be more careful. I'm just going head on into those fights. It's probably not a good idea at this point. Ah, oh, there we go. Resurrected. Okay, back here. Definitely gonna be more careful now. 
in those fights. Need to dodge more. Oh, we've got two now. Crap. Okay, two at one time is uh, a bit more difficult, but we made it. Oh, I can s I can hear some heavy breathing. <laughs> I know it's waiting for me. Where is it? Death Report. Office of Pembroke Hospital Medical Examiner. Report of Investigation. Samuel Connor. Caucasoid. Male 39. Let's see cause of death. Fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation. Spanish influenza. Dr. Corcoran Tippett's nurse Gwyneth Branagan name and signature blah blah blah. All Mr. right. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. It's locked. It's locked. We need a key. It's locked, all right. Oh no. Used Liston knife. Blood absorb. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip and press right to directly absorb blood. Not sure what that means. Let's let's check it out. I don't have it on my list. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, so we'll, every attack will, uh, so the, the stake stuns, but this one absorbs uh, blood, like, instantly. That's good, so we don't need to bite them that often, probably. Uh, we'll see in a second how it works. Let's switch to that. went pretty fast oh there's the one John Doe whoa whoa whoa, whoa. what he's doing to us holy shit Let's have some blood of him.
shit. Oh shit, I just need one hit. There we go, just at the last point. <laughs> can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. To drink blood is so tempting. Yeah, that was kind of intense. It was very close to dying actually. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Okay, we can't use our regeneration skill. Not sure if there's any object I have in my inventory that I can actually use right away okay so we've got the r the last craft the treatment for fatigue but where do I craft it do I have to go back to my workbench oh this is the workbench <laughs> there we go uh, to analyze. Okay, let's analyze this. Light regeneration, light blood serum. Treatment for fatigue. Okay, how do I do that? Craft medicine. Oh, this is the one. Oh, uh, so it's just like this. Treatment for fatigue. Okay, that's crafted. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Okay, so I can actually craft more stuff. Treatment for anemia, sepsis, pneumonia, bronchitis, and for cold. And I can also craft serum, but I don't have an ingredient, so I'm missing so sodium hypochlorite solution for that. And this one I cannot craft either. Alrighty, so we need to get back to Dorothy. Oh, 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 we've got another one. Come on, I dodged this. Okay, glad I found this new weapon that's absorbing blood right away. That uh, saved me a little bit there. Oh, I've got more of them, come on! Oh, even two at the same time. Might be a bit uh, difficult now. Can we just leave? Like, bypass them? Where was the exit from this? Uh... Oh, this is the exit, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, 
Oh, they're here again. I'm just gonna go around this time. Because I don't have so much blood on me. I can use my abilities. Wait, this is not the way. Okay, I think this is the entrance to the hospital. Okay, there we go. There's Dorothy. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Okay, let's see if we can aid them so their blood is tastier later. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Press E to check for medical status of the citizen. Healing a citizen will increase his blood quality. Okay, Do you need let's any see. help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Okay, so give him the medicine. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Treatment for fatigue. Okay, so we gave him the treatment. Uh, can we ask something? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Yeah, let's give him some time first. Doctor. Righty. So, our first duty as a doctor has been completed. We treated our first patient, and it was a great success. Blood Temptation. Remember, citizens' blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens for uh, of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. Okay, so we need to feed on someone. Anyway, we will do that in the next part. Uh, for now, we'll, we'll stop here and we'll... We'll pick it up soon, so for now, thank you very much for watching, of course I invite you for the next part, take care.